Hi folks, Professor B here to demonstrate a new program that I just got called Artinsoft. And it's a picture collage program. You can take a good quality photo, like the one that I have here of my grandmother, and you can turn it into a collage in three simple steps. Now, if you haven't chosen your um, image yet, they do come with a sample image just to get started. And then when, once you've done that, you can add your own image. To load it, you go to the File menu, load the master image, and it will appear in the display window here. And then next what you do is you just hit Next. And if you don't have any image collections selected showing in this window here, then you can, it gives you the opportunity to um, search your hard drive and find picture collections. And you can pick and choose which ones you want to apply to this particular task. So I've chosen just one here with 167 photos. Now these are little tiny thumbnails you'll see in just a moment. And what it does is it takes all of these images and it places them over the canvas. So make sure something is checked. You can check all or just select. Then hit next. You'll get a grid. The grid is uh, default at 100, but you can set that at higher or lower. So to start with, I would stick with the default. And then you can see from doing several attempts um, the effects that it has. And you can play around with advanced settings once you get comfortable with it. And this is the third step. So now all you have to do is just click Create Photo Collage. Depending on your system, this could take a few seconds, but certainly not much more than uh, a minute. And the results show in the window in the upper left. And right now it's showing pretty small, so I'm going to just zoom it in. That doesn't make the picture any bigger. In effect, it just on the screen it zooms in. So I'm doing 16 times so I can see the image better. And over to the right are the controls to affect the changes in the collage. Now right now you may not notice much. I chose a black and white because, so you could see the color. That color is represented from the pictures that have been applied during this process. So to see the original picture, I'm going to slide this bar to the far right, and apply. And then you'll see the original picture. Now I'm going to move it from 100% to approximately 50%, and then apply. So you can see what it's doing if I apply it down to about 25%. Then the applied collage becomes more distinct. And in fact, if I move it all the way to the far left to 0% and apply, you will barely see the original image. Instead, you're going to see all the little mini pictures. And these are actually just pictures of dishes that I've taken uh, over the last few years, all gluten free, of course. And now I'm going to move it back to about center and apply to, to wherever I happen to like it. And this is where I like it at this point. Down below in this area where the master image uh, preview, you can also zoom this up a little bit and see the original grid that you selected, which was set at 100. And the nice part here is I can now customize. 
So if I notice that there is a um, an area on the picture that I want to choose, like my grandmother's nose looks a little out of whack, I can uh, change that image to say a picture of a margarita, and I think she would approve, or a nice gluten-free dessert. And once I've made these little tweaks, then I can hit next down at the bottom. And I can save my image if I wish to. Now, if I'm just doing this for the fun of it and uh, I don't want to save it, then I obviously don't have to. I can just uh, go back to make adjustments or I can just close out. But I'm going to do a save as. And I'm going to choose where I want to save it. By default, it wants to go in with uh, my pictures in a particular collection. And let's just say that's fine. Name, I can change it or just use the uh, default name it provides and hit Save. This too can take a little while depending on the complexity of the collage. A progress meter shows you what's happening so far. And in case you can't quite make it out in the image, the meter is progressing right here. Since it has to save this image with all of those little sub-elements from the collage conversion, it could take a bit of time. So give it a few minutes at least. Just about done. And also, you can go online as well. They show you a preview right here with a link. You can go to the website for Arden Soft, and they have uh, available sample photos and such, and examples, and a free trial. So check it out if you want to try this out. You don't have to buy it before you try it. And they have other products at this website, too. And that's it. So I'm going to log off now. Thank you for joining.